awesome chat is brought to you by sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com and listeners like you support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast Hey guys, it's the Awesome Chat. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, uh, where we talk with people doing awesome things around the area. And lately, we've just been talking with our friends because we hang around some pretty awesome We're people. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Please <laughs> check out everything at uh, Awesome Chat, of course, on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and all the stuff going on at AwesomeCast.com. With me, you heard him a little bit there, uh, Mike Pound, Uncle Crappy. I don't think I got your Twitter right <laughs> there. Uh, that one is, I don't know where that one would go. <laughs> no, nope, nope, we'll just change that to Uncle Crappy there, just to, just to give it you a nice It could be Uncle Crappy, space. it could be Mike Pound PG, either one, either one. <laughs> There you go. Um, but anyways, uh, well, just you, keep it timeless because no matter where you're at, you'll always be Uncle Crappy, right? Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> that is true. So uh, this week, you're, you're uh, 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 we'll, we'll say a traditional journalist. We always love having you on the Awesome Cast because uh, well, you work for a traditional news organization, right? We'll say with the uh, currently the Pittsburgh Post Gazette, of course. Yes. Yes. Um, and maybe not so traditional in in some of the ways you go about things, and we can get into that here in a moment. I'm way less traditional than someone my age should be. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> but anyways, I kind of want to first get into the question of, um, you know, I know you initially, and and always will be Uncle Crappy to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Where did Uncle Crappy come from? Uh, the the name or all the stuff? Um, the, I Both. guess the the name Both. and what it encompassed. There were, I, I mean, there were like everybody else. There were blogs. Um, I, uh, what are what are the old platforms? Angel Fire, there <laughs> Angel was Fire, a, there was Tripod. A thing. Yeah, there Geo was uh, there was something like, and I, I I tinkered with that for a while, but it was just kind of aimless. Mm-hmm. Um, I. I, I kind of I felt like I was committed, but I, I didn't really have a, a sense of what it should be or what a personality would be. Um, and at some point, we were at a reunion of uh, my college newspaper uh, in Athens, Ohio. Um, my wife and I both uh, graduated from Ohio University. And we are in our bar, the Union Bar and Grill, and I am in the men's room. And there is a bit of graffiti uh, on the wall next to the urinal and it says suggested band names. And one of those, not all the blanks were filled in, but one of those was Uncle Crappy. And I was, I was so taken by this that I actually dragged Kelly into the men's room so she could see it. Um, and that's just sort of, I I mean, I, you know, I was, I was a new uncle at that point and, um, not, not at all a crappy uncle, but I just, I just love the name. So I, I stole it. Um, and that was the title of my blog. And then as all these social things popped up, um, you know, it was a natural name on Twitter and, and everything else. Um, but back in the day when you had to be careful about, you know, revealing who you actually were. Um, so that's, that's just, that's just, it's sort of stuck. That's great. And, and, and from when I uh, first, first you met you, of course, you, you, were, you were involved with Beaver County Times. Mm-hmm. Again, traditional outside of a, a city area kind of newspaper. And, but, but. Like I said, you you kind of looked at technology, and you um, I think that was your beat, right? Uh, for a while, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, we had there was an online presence at the times. Um, it was it was extremely rudimentary when I started there, and that was two thousand. Um, we it seemed like we switched platforms like once a year, and I just I was I I was interested, so I kind of um, I was one of a couple people in the newsroom who started tinkering a little bit. Um, and that turned into more and more involvement with it. Um, and, and, and it, 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 later in my time there, I was, I was there for uh, 14 years. Um, that turned into actually, you know, covering kind of uh, consumer level technology stuff. Uh, I did a, a weekly column for, for three ish years, maybe a little bit more. Um, but so I was, you know, involved in the, the front end of that, of the, you know, the, the actual journalism point part of it. But I was also, I also got more and more involved with, uh, the behind the scenes stuff, mm-hmm. um, working, working with the different, uh, content management systems that they kept trying. Um, and then getting accidentally getting involved in producing digital content. Um, and that's really turned into what I'm doing now. 
Um, so that's 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 worked out pretty well. I I, I just uh, <laughs> I'm pulling up some some videos. I just looking at the thumbnails. I don't think I've seen the ones that are this old. I'm pulling up Newsbreak from Newsbreak. Times TimesOnline.com's YouTube page. Newsbreak see, Newsbreak was started as is actually a, a, a serious thing. Um, mm-hmm. And one of my one of my terrific friends in the business who's no longer in the business, uh, uh, Jen Fernet, was the original host of Newsbreak. Um, Jen was not capable of doing a serious newscast for very long. And she turned it into something that was a uh, bit smart and kind of funny. That the one of the yellow shirt actually might be the first one. <laughs> they find the first one. It might be. I don't, they're, they're just uh, by date. Apparently this yeah. is in, uh, yeah. uh, 2007. Okay. It's, it's labeled as nine years ago. Um, I guess roughly 10 years ago at this point. Uh, yeah. June 4th, 2007. That could be. I would. I, we the, the Times did that for a couple of years before I even got involved with it. Uh, there was uh, Jen was off. Uh, the second substitute was sick, and they had no one to do this. I'm like, uh, okay. I feel like I, I will. That is. That's that's the. I that's got to be the first episode. I feel like I'm watching this thing, and you're about to sell me um, um, a mesothelioma. Uh, <laughs> Um, I was thinking like a, uh, I was thinking like gutter helmet. I was thinking gutter sorry, helmet. That, yeah, okay, sort of I can see that. Sham wow. Oh, okay. There okay. you go. You could, do, you could do a little sham wow. This is also <laughs> 2007. You're outside in a coat as you do because it's Western Pennsylvania yeah. in December. Yeah, <laughs> or at least this is the way it used to look. I, um, <laughs> so and, and then I just uh, uh, Jen left the newspaper and and other people got busy and I liked doing it too much. Uh, it I liked doing it enough that um, when a videographer left, uh, I. I, with some help from friends, I, I taught myself how to edit these and kept it going for another few years, just as a, as a one person deal. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm sure a lot of us, it shows. And it became, (laughs) it became a kind of a fun thing. Um, you were wearing penguins hats. You were, you know, you did steel versus cheese when, when the Steelers took on the Wisconsin, uh, that was that one was a team effort, mm-hmm. um, and and still the the most watched one that that, that we did. Period. Uh, throwing throwing blocks of Velveeta off the top of the building. <laughs> was, I think that that was the original idea. That was the discussion. It's like, well, how can we get this kind of Letterman thing, and we can do that, and um, and it turned into this whole competition deal, which was just and just looking like how serious that this, this did. Like the intro got more serious. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little. A lot um, of photography used in there. Yeah. But uh, but everyone, the, yeah, the intro was a little more produced uh, at the end, but um, yeah. Uh, doing is this a debate? Here. Is that what's happening here? A piece of steel, uh, a piece of cheese? This was the intelligent, intelligence question. They, oh, okay. they we're trying to get them to do math questions. Okay. Neither one did well. No. <laughs> Go look, at, look that up. Uh, uh, Newsbreak Steel versus Cheese if you want to check it out uh, out there. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend it. I'll take it back. And this is the good old days of 2011 on uh-huh. YouTube, by the way. Uh-huh. It, it's going to be fun to have like that time capsule. Uh, it is. Um, and and I, 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 should, I should probably go back and look uh, once in a while, for, if for no other reason than to, to understand how much better my video editing is than it was <laughs> back then. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was a it was a really cool experience. Um, we eventually shut it down because, as we were, as the the company and the newspaper were getting more serious about digital content, you know, the the reality is I was doing that for a very small group of people, mm-hmm. right? Um, and we needed kind of stuff that that would appeal to a broader range of people, and probably needed like a, a more serious daily newscast. <laughs> Um, so I, I, yeah, and that's, that's when I veered off and, and started doing the beer shows. Um, cause I can, I can sort of keep the, the spirit, um, of, of the, the videos that I enjoy, but, but produce something that's, uh, that's going to have a broader appeal. And, and that was something that you were doing again with the, the, the times online and you, you, mm-hmm. you brought with you to the post Gazette more or less and kind mm-hmm. of, uh, started a new version of it. Um, I got hired to the PG because of uh, uh, you know willingness to dig into the, the to a CMS, um, willingness to to deal with social stuff, uh, all manner of digital content, and we did that with the understanding that uh, at some point I would do uh, we we would start up a beer show like we like I had been doing at the Times for uh, at that point about a year and a half. Um, so after six months or seven months or something like that to kind of get uh, get get grounded at the Post Gazette. Um, we started the beer show and now it's been two plus years. That's awesome. Yeah. 
so tell me a little bit, a little bit more about Beer Me. Um, Beer Me, uh, it's uh, it's been fun. The first couple of episodes I did at the Post Gazette, um, I did with uh, with Steve Mellon, uh, who is an incredibly talented photographer and videographer. Um, he still he he can do stuff uh, that I I, I cannot. Um, and so, and so the first few shows were beautiful. Um, but you know, it, we, we would go and shoot and it would take us a couple hours and then Steve, it would take Steve a yeah. couple days to put these together. Um, and that's just not practical for anybody because he's got a whole staff of stuff that, um, the you know, people he has to, he has to shoot stuff for plus his own stills assignments and, and all this other stuff. And I said, you know, I can, I can do these. They're, they're not going to look as nice. Um, but it was, uh, you know, I, I already have uh, getting the show started again, uh, was not hard. Um, I, I, you know, I already knew people in, in the business in town. Um, so I, you know, there's sort of a reputation. Um, I, I'd been doing this with another publication. So you, once you explain that, it's like, oh, okay, this is cool. Um, and there's, and you do get, you get people a little more attention when you, when you say, I'm doing this for the Post-Gazette instead of Beaver County Times. Um, so uh, it's been good. It's been good. Um, still there are folks who are still trying to sell it, which would be a nice thing. Um, digital content that comes with revenue is something that makes everybody happy. <laughs> few, few and far between, <laughs> believe me, right? Yes. Uh, but I mean, that's the cool thing. I mean, this is obviously a, a kind of a passion project and at yeah. least you have a company behind it. Yes. Uh, to, 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 to a point that, that, you know, it is bringing, it is something that brings traffic to their website. So it, it does. I mean, it, it, it does well enough that I, I don't think there's any concern that, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be asked to stop anytime soon. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, and it is, I mean, it, it's, if, uh, of all the stuff I do, uh, at the Post Gazette, um, that is the, that is the thing that, you know, really, really gets you going. So, um, it's cool to be able to, to, to do that. It's one of those things I would, I would figure out a way to do beer shows somehow. Mm -hmm. Um, but to, to be able to do that professional in a professional setting is pretty cool. It's awesome. And, and you know, you, you, you kind of always dive into different kinds of technology. I know, uh, like I saw you, I think I just saw today a mention about something. Are you still doing the Google hangout show? Yes. <laughs> Do yes. you want to talk about that? Um, uh, Carla Swank, who used to be involved with, with podcast stuff here. Um, mm -hmm. I worked with her at the times. Um, she now works with, I believe common craft down in Nashville. Yes. 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 Um, uh, she is, uh, no, regardless of what she would tell you, she's a, uh, she's reformed professional sports writer. Um, and we both, you know, we're both, uh, college football freaks. So, uh, uh, last season was the fifth year we did it. We, we've started this, we started this a while ago. Um, as we were both sort of contributing to a sports blog, which I think is now officially dead. So we have to decide where this, where this is going to go. <laughs> it may just live on Facebook from this point on. Mm -hmm. But, um, you started this uh, college football picks show where we will, you know, talk about three or four games every week. Um, talk about some bowl games. I might have other people show up. And, and, uh, and again, kind of that no frills thing, right? Yeah. Just, oh, you, yeah. just you get on and do it. I, I, it's, we, we just, uh, um, I think we've always done, yeah, we've always done these as, uh, as Google Hangouts. Um, occasionally we get people show up to, uh, to chat. Um, once someone, <laughs> we had the, the video contributor show up. Uh, just as a surprise, which is kind of cool, but, uh, I, you know, um, it's just a fun thing that we do. Um, and, and to be able to continue to do that, whether it's, uh, whether it's using Google stuff, which has always worked or whether we switch to Facebook, which may be a possibility by, mm -hmm. by next fall. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see whatever platform works best for us, but there's no reason why, you know, it, it's, it, it's an hour a week basically. Yeah. Um, you know, it, we, we talk for, for 20 minutes and it, it takes me a little bit longer than that to, to edit it, ostensibly. I'm, I'm adding titles and stuff. That's basically it. Adding the bells and whistles basically. Yeah, right. Yeah. So. Um, yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't take terribly long. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's no reason not to, there's mm -hmm. no reason, no reason not to, it's, it's this easy. Um, and it's this easy to do to produce kind of fun stuff about something that you really, really love. Um, God, why not? You talked a little bit earlier, and of course this is something that we tackle on a regular basis on, on, on the Awesome Cast show mm -hmm. whenever you're regularly on there. 
Um, but, uh, you know, you've seen it grow, you know, looking back 10 years ago at the news break videos mm-hmm. to, to how you've been doing things. And you've seen, you know, the growth of, of uses of things like Periscope and, mm-hmm. and, 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 you know, all kinds of technologies coming on in our cell phones. Uh, hell, 10 years ago, the, the iPhone just came out, I believe. Right. right. <laughs> just so, right. so it's been a, it's been a hell of an evolution. Yes. yes. Um, what do you think about, you know, what are you seeing now, about kind of where that's going or what are your kind of expectations there? Um, I don't, I, I think I, I tend to think about this now, um, more in terms of what it's going to mean for me professionally. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that, that can be a couple different areas, um, in terms of the stuff that I produce, uh, this is actually going to get easier. Um, the, 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 the work I can do, um, we just had, um, uh, in, at the end of April, we had a Pittsburgh Craft Beer Week, uh, which is a, an annual thing. Um, and I, in a lot of instances, uh, I found it easier to get, I got a nice little uh, road mic that sticks right onto the end of my iPhone. And instead of carrying a bag and a tripod and all this other stuff, I carry my phone, I have that mic, and I have a little, the little Gorilla Pod thing. And it's, it's easier. You can, it's, you're not making such production. Um, you know, you can, you can kind of get in and get the shots you want and, and, and be done fairly quickly. And, uh, in a, in a way that's not being really obtrusive. Um, so on, on the side of the stuff that I produce, I see this becoming easier. Um, and, 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 and uh, you know, all my gear is mine. So less expensive. That's also helpful. And you can um, take it with you. Yeah. It, it's it's, yeah, it's not you're going if, – if you were to move on to some other company, you know, yes. it's not something that – And I've, and I've done that once. So yeah. all, all the stuff came with me. So Yeah. So that's nice. So you can kind of continue that – yeah. Tech yeah. growth. You're, yes. you're not dependent yes. on something like that. You would like it would have been maybe ten years ago. Like, well, my new my new my new employer doesn't have a camera, for right. instance. You right. know, so that's that stuff is always going to be mine. And on the on the other side, I, I think about how people consume what I what we do, mm-hmm. um, and, and that uh, that continues to be uh, how do we make sure stuff works well on mobile? Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's sort of the, that is the biggest thing. Um, uh, we also try to figure out as many kind of side doors as possible. Most of that is social uh, stuff, um, but you know, get get people. Doesn't we don't worry so much about the homepage as far as I mean, instead of just kind of getting people to the site and then trying to get them to to stay there. That's been we I, there's been a we just did a um, redesign of uh, of uh, story pages, um, and that's all that's all designed with that in mind to kind of keep people there once we have them there so there's lots of lots of stuff like that that we think about not not to kind of you know put in for strategy for what the post gazette is doing but mm-hmm. as an industry are, mm-hmm. are we finally kind of seeing this um i don't know if we, want, if we want to call it digital first but at least digital more like is there less emphasis on that news pa- on that paper bit oh uh, you're smiling there as I, i'm trying to get there like because because i mean everyone says digital first and almost oh, yeah. no one means it <laughs> So, so, so has that center kind of moved from getting papers <laughs> in people's hands to, as I'm seeing, I'm literally seeing paper, paper boxes disappear yes. out there yes. uh, versus the online side of things. Um, yes, uh, it, it, that, that transition is going on and that will, that will continue. Um, I mean, the, the, at, at the beginning of the year, uh, the, the Pittsburgh edition of the Tribune just stopped. Mm-hmm. Um, there, mm-hmm. There's no print version of that any longer. Um, and that's, uh, it's a scary model to think about. And it's um, not, it's not, it's not something we have to do yet because we, right. uh, we still have a pretty strong uh, subscription base. Not an insignificant paper either. Right. Oh right. yeah. 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 So, yeah. um, but that's, but I mean, that's just, that's, that's going to happen. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's going to happen everywhere. Um, I, I know no secrets. I don't have any inside information, but I can, I, I will tell you right now, it's going to happen in the Post-Gazette at some point. Um, you know, whenever it makes sense to, to, to quit killing trees and, and printing stuff right. and going to an all digital product. Whenever, and, and whenever it will happen. Like there, there, there has to be a certain tipping point basically, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Where, where it just makes more sense yep. fiscally, probably more than anything. Yep. So. Uh, definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. That's the, that is the driving thing. Right. And in, in the meantime, you hope you have 
the digital side figured out to the degree that um, that that it works for you. A lot of foundation building happening right now, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be exciting. It's got to be scary at the same time. Uh, some of both. It's some yeah. of both. Um, mostly we're, we're busy enough day to day that it's, it, you don't worry about too much about being scared. Um, and, you know, and, and things are going pretty well right now. So can't complain. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on the awesome chat. Tell people where they can check out what, what you're into. You can find me. Um, you can find my work every day at uh, postgazette.com. Um, that would be post gazette.com. Excuse me. Um, if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you look, uh, if you want to check out the beer show, uh, post gazette.com slash beer me, uh, I'm, I'm on a couple of different places in Twitter, different variations of my name. You can find me there. Um, or excuse me on Facebook. Uh, Twitter is, uh, at Mike pound PG or at the ubiquitous uncle crappy. Still right there much anymore? A couple times a year. A couple times a year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much check them out and check out all Thanks, our friends Mike. we've had here on the awesome chat awesomecast.com subscribe to it wherever you need to you want to you, you if you're missing something let us know hit us up awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com awesomecast on the twitter or the awesomecast facebook page and group and you guys can chat with us on any of those and uh let us know if there's anybody anybody you think we should be chatting with um in the future here on the show uh we're looking for uh you know a little bit of everything whether it be uh tech companies people making cool stuff video game stuff and the like uh please hit us up in pittsburgh and uh, abroad it's all cool so thank you mike my awesome guest for this week thanks mike and you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com dot com.